Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome back again to your An Academy in English channel. I hope all of you are doing amazing, all of you are doing great. And I hope you guys are watching all the marathons, right? So my dear students, the first type of the question that will be asked regarding the probability distribution curves, right? Probability distribution curves. You'll be asked psi versus r and psi square versus r graphs for your s and p orbital. Now, how do you make them? It's very simple. Few things you need to remember. How do you calculate total number of nodes? N minus 1. How do you calculate angular nodes? The value of L as a middle quantum number. Spherical nodes? N minus L minus 1. Right? These are the three formulas, first of all, which you need to remember. Next, psi versus r as well as psi square versus r. For all the s orbitals, they start from the top. They start from the top, then go down. Similarly, for the p orbitals, they start from the origin and then they go up. For example, have a look. In case of 2s, n value is 2, l value is 0, right? So there will be in total one node, there will be in total one node in case of 2s, right? Because total number of nodes is n minus 1. So 2 minus 1 comes out to be 1. So there is one node in case of 2s, perfect. And all the 2s graphs, they start from the top, right? So here they touch the r axis, here they touch the r axis and comes like this. At this particular point, it represents that particular node which I was talking about. Right? In case of what? In case of 2s. Perfect. Similarly, psi square versus r for the same 2s. What you guys are going to do? That particular part of the graph which is below the r axis, that means this particular part of the graph I'm talking about, take the reflection of it. Take the reflection of it. So from here to here, the graph is same. From here to here, the curve is same. Now the reflection of this particular part will be like this. Will be like this. So this is psi square versus r in case of 2s. Perfect. For example, you have got 3s. In case of 3s, n value is 3, l value is 0. If n is 3, so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, right? So there are two nodes in total. There are two nodes in total in case of 3s. L value is 0. There is no angular node, right? That means both these nodes, they are the spherical ones, right? So there are spherical nodes present in case of what? There are spherical nodes present in case of your, in case of your 3s, right? Now, my dear students, check it out. Uh, just a second. Okay, check it out. In case of 3s, there are total two nodes. In case of s, all the graphs, they start from the top. Be it your psi versus r as well as psi square versus r. Now, the graph will start from here, for example. So this is your first node and this is your second node. Perfect, these are the two nodes which I'm talking about. Now for 3s, if you want to make psi square versus r, is there, is there any part of the graph that is down the r-axis? Yes, this part of the graph is down the r-axis. So take the reflection of it, that's all. Rest everything keeps same. So from here it's same, now take the reflection of it, right? And rest everything is same. So these are your two nodes, two spherical nodes which I was talking about, right? In case of your 3p, in case of your 3p, in case of 3p, n value is 3, l value is 1. n value is 3, 3 minus 1, 2. So there are in total two nodes. There are in total two nodes. l value is 1, that means there is one angular node. There is one angular node. That means one will be spherical node. One angular node, one spherical node. In total, there will be two nodes in case of 3p. And in case of p, your graphs, they start from the origin, right? From here, they'll start. Perfect. So how many nodes do I have to represent? I just have to re represent one spherical node over here, right? So psi square versus r. In case of 2p, it'll start from the origin, right? It'll start from the origin. Then it will go down like this, okay? And this particular point over here, it represents your spherical node. This is the graph for your 3p, right? Now, psi square versus r. Is there any part of the graph that is down the r-axis? You check it out. Yes, this part of the graph is down the r-axis, right? So take the reflection of it. Rest, keep everything same. So from here to here, it's same, right? And then it'll go like this. Perfect. This is what, what you will be calling as your spherical node. So this is how you can make psi versus r as well as psi square versus r in case of your s orbitals as well as p orbitals. Perfect. Similarly, you can make for 4p as well. In case of 4p, there will be in total three nodes, out of which one will be angular, two will be radial, two will be spherical, right? Those two spherical nodes you will have to represent over here. That's all. So this was one short, short question, which is surely going to be asked in this year, NEET 2024 examination. Number two. Number two. A question can be asked from these graphs as well, right? You are given with pressure volume graphs. Now, don't think this from states of matter chapter. This belongs to thermodynamics as well. So you can expect these sort of questions, wherein you have to check which temperature is more, which temperature is less, 
which pressure is more, which pressure is less, which volume is more, which volume is less. Now, how do we do these sort of questions? Try to understand. First of all, pressure versus volume. As per your Boyle's law, you know, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. P is equal to K divided by V. It's inversely proportional to volume as per your Boyle's law. You know it. Perfect. Now, my dear students, how do we check the temperatures? I'll be drawing a straight line parallel to y-axis, right? I'll be marking these points. After mark marking these points, I'll get the y-axis value. Y-axis is the pressure axis. So, corresponding to temperature T3, let the pressure be P3. Here, the pressure will be P2. And here, the pressure will be P1. Now, check the relation between P1, P2, P3. I can say your P1 is greater than P2, which is greater than P3 over here, right? P1 is greater than P2, which is greater than P3. Now, you must be knowing about your ideal gas equation. PV is equal to NRT. This is your ideal gas equation. Now, my dear students, since you have drawn a straight line, right? So, that means you are keeping volume constant. You are keeping volume constant. N is already constant. R is already constant. So, I can say pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So, more the pressure, more the temperature, right? So, P1 is more. That means T1 has to be more than that of T2, which has to be more than that of T3. So, this is the answer of the question. You can solve it like this. Similarly, Volume versus temperature. You have to check these pressures. Again, draw a straight line. Mark these points. After marking these points, get the corresponding y-axis value, right? Corresponding to pressure P3, let the volume here be V3. Here it's going to be V2. Here it's going to be V1. Now, compare V1, V2, V3. So, V1 is greater than V2, which is greater than V3. Use the ideal gas equation. PV is equal to NRT, correct? Now, my dear students, since you have drawn a straight line, which is telling you that you are keeping the temperature constant, Temperature constant, R is constant, N is constant. So, you can say pressure here is inversely proportional to volume. So, more the volume, lesser the pressure, right? More the volume, lesser the pressure. V1 is more, that means P1 has to be less. P1 has to be less than P2, has to be less than P3. This is the relation between P1, P2 and P3, right? Similarly, if you look at this particular question, over here you have to check the relation between V1, V2, V3. Again, what you'll be drawing? Straight line, right? Mark these points. After marking these points, get the corresponding y-axis value. So, corresponding to volume V3, pressure is P3. Here the pressure is P2. Here the pressure is P1. So, over here you can say P1 is greater than P2, which is greater than P3. Right? P1 greater than P2, greater than P3. Now, my dear students, use the ideal gas equation. PV is equal to what? PV is equal to NRT. Since you have drawn a straight line, which is telling you that you have kept the temperature constant, R is already constant, N is already constant. So, you can say pressure is inversely proportional to volume. Right? So, more the pressure, lesser the volume. More the pressure, lesser the volume. So, P1 is more. That means V1 has to be less. V1 has to be less than V2, which has to be less than V3. This is how you can compare these graphs, right? This is how different types of questions can be asked. And with the help of this simple procedure, you can solve the questions. Perfect. Short, short, this type of the question is asked. Be it in physics or in chemistry. Now, moving ahead. <clears throat> One question can be asked in this format as well. You'll be given with any of these graphs by just looking at the graphs. You just have to identify the order of the reaction. Remember when it comes to the zero order reaction, rate is independent of the concentration of reactant. AT versus T graph, T half versus A naught, completion time versus A naught, alpha versus A naught. These are the these are all the graphs which are basically for the zero order kinetics. So any one of these graphs will be given to you and they'll ask you what is the order of the reaction. So all these graphs, they are for the zero order reactions. Similarly, these graphs which are mentioned over here, they are actually for your first order reaction. So basically, you are given with any of these graphs and they'll ask you directly what is going to be the order of the reaction. Remember, I have taught you all these graphs in detail in the chemical kinetics chapter. I hope you know that, right? Accordingly, by knowing the type of the graph, you can easily check the order of the reaction. So my dear students, this was a very quick and sharp session. And I'll keep on coming up with all these sessions. If you like the session, do let me know in the comment section of this particular video. Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.